Uh, hello, my name is Ben Teasdale. I'm an ED consultant and I'm also the lead for Resus here at Leicester Royal Infirmary. Resus is uh, 12 bays, it's one of the largest EDs in the country, so we're very busy. Uh, and the split of those bays is largely four children and eight adults, but we can mix and match things depending on what comes in the department. Every bay is the same in terms of its contents, uh, so you should have all the equipment that you need in terms of looking after any kind of emergency and when you visit the department uh, and as part of the induction we'll lay you through all of that kit so you know exactly what you're doing. So uh, Resus has its own dedicated uh, ambulance entrance and we take the calls from EMAS via two red phones uh, which is not unusual to have two red calls at the same time so Resus can be pretty busy in terms of its inflow. So uh, to deal with the, how, how busy the department is, we've built a lot of things that are mean it's uh, to be very efficient in terms of their adjacencies. So we have a hot lab to, that can do all the bloods that you require within 20 minutes of arrival, and that's about two feet away from, our, from recess. We also have a pod system that can send bloods directly to blood transfusion, and CT is just at the other end of recess. So again, getting scans and x-rays done is uh, just a quick walk away. So one of the other things that we do differently in Leicester is that the whole department runs on a just-in-time system. So our main stores are downstairs and we have a group of generic support workers who bring all the equipment um, up from that storeroom into the clinical area so they can be used in real time. So within Resus we have a set of stacks that are colour coded and those are divided both into just local stores where you can stock up Venplons if you're running out for example but also procedures. So everything that you need to do a particular procedure is actually in a single drawer that you can pull out and load into a generic trolley and turn it into whatever you need to do. So that's a really quick run through of the emergency room and uh, when you're here, when you come on your induction, we'll give you a much more detailed walk around all the equipment and the layout.